So this is my segment of what grinds my gears. Uh, I had to make this video real quick and I wanted to tell people uh, this is not a, a news network thing. This is just something that really grinds my gears. Um, so whenever you're, what, what, a couple things I want to kind of go over that really grinds my gears when it comes to interviewing. Whether you're interviewing for an internal position within a company, or whether you're interviewing for a, a company that's out, you know, outside company, you're out of work, or you're looking for a job, or you're in between jobs, or you're in, an internal candidate. Pet peeve number one is the interviewer is thirty minutes late. Now, I get like if you're five or ten minutes over, even though that is one of my biggest pet peeves when you're late for an interview is when the interviewer is late, okay? Number one, my time's valuable. Number two, it looks very poor in your time management skills. That is one of the things I cannot stand is people being tardy, especially if you're the interviewer. The interviewee has no excuse, but the interviewer should never be late. But most of the time when I've ever been in interviews in the past or every time in my life, they're always 20 minutes late. Why that is, I have no clue. A lot of them don't even say they're sorry or give an excuse. Some will say, oh, well, my kids are, you know, I had to pick up my kids from daycare and blah, 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 blah. Which leads me to number two reason, which really grinds my gears with any kind of interview that you should not do, is make excuses. One thing I cannot stand is when you make excuses. What that means is, oh, my kid, I had to pick him up for daycare, or oh, I had to do this, or oh, I, my, my meeting ran late, or whatever. Just say, look, you know what, I was late. It's my fault. Like I said, I'm here now. I just want to let you know I wasn't ignoring you. Move forward. I have more respect for people that are just direct instead of people that try to candy coat and sugar coat shit. I'd rather have shit straight up. <laughs> That's a YouTube poop right there, if I ever seen one. Um... <laughs> than candy-coated shit. Number three, when you're talking to an interviewer and it's like an interrogation, recruiters and interviewers, whether it's internal, external candidates, I've dealt with women, men that just ask you questions. They just ask. They're no, there's no originality whatsoever. It's like they're literally... So, when you were at this job, what did you do there, and why would that help you here? And it's like, a lot of times I'll just tell them, like, look, I mean, I am looking for this job for the simple fact that I'm looking for an opportunity. I, I don't know how that's going to help, but, you know, these skills can transfer to those skills. It's pretty simple, but you can't say that. You have to, of course, sugarcoat shit. Of course, another thing that grinds my gears when it comes to interviews, whether it's internal or external, is the fact that they have the dog barking in the fucking background because it's working from home now. I mean, I'm talking... I, I, I had an internal interview today for a position that's higher up. And the lady literally was sitting there going, So, when you talk about this... It's very professional because, you know, we always want to hear Rover in the background barking. Don't get me wrong. I love dogs. I love animals, but I love dogs especially. They are man's best friend. Dog spelled backward is God, and God is awesome. But it is not the place and time for that in a work environment. Our culture in our environment when it comes to business and when it comes to just a culture in general is in the fucking toilet. I mean, it, it, I've never seen anything like it. And you, you, you see interviewers now swearing, saying the F-bombs. And these are professional companies. These are Fortune 100 companies that are saying these words in interviews that I've noticed in the past couple of years. It's unbelievable. And it needs to stop. Last thing. When you're doing an interview, don't sit there at the end and, oh, I'm sorry, I got to take this. Let me put you on hold. What that basically means is, you know what, I really don't care what you have to say. I'm just really just filling some time. So that's what grinds my gears. You guys have a great rest of your day.